Greetings and welcome back to Nantucket. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have gone ahead and uh, improved our situation somewhat. So we have Sylvester who has the um, bandages, which gives us immunity to bleeding. Now I did encounter an adult narwhal last time I just went out. Uh, as you can see, we now have $2,400 in cash, huge amount of prestige, um, and things are going really well for us. Uh, the one thing that I have noticed is on my character, I did choose the fasten skill. This is an amazing, awesome skill, which allows you to fasten the whale to the whaling boat and it does continual damage through bleeding the animal, which is, which is good for killing it fast. So what I'm looking to do is possibly find another character with, uh, to, replace Bill because Bill has this skill of covering fire which isn't useful to us at all in whaling so that's one of the things that I'm looking toward replacing but we are still on the hunt for a better ship so we're gonna have to get fifty fifty seven hundred dollars at the very least to replace our ship maybe even go for eighty five hundred I'm kind of tempted to get to that level um, so <laughs> It's just, um, you know, oh, we need, oh, we actually have to have some of these other things, stoves. Oh, we need to have some of these other items. I didn't know that. Okay. So we need to have stoves unlocked. Uh, let's see, what do we actually need this to be a, okay, man has to have a caboose skill. So maybe we should shop for somebody who has that skill. Let's see, do we, is there anybody who has that? That's rebalance what is this one it's food used by the crew this is the caboose one that's actually pretty good um anybody else all right caboose you have two hp regained per day of navigation that's pretty darn good uh but i don't really want to get a level 10 person because they take so much of the lay um, I'd rather get a lower level person. So maybe I will get this person here. This is, um, Steve. And I think we'll, we'll have to fire Eli. So Eli, sorry, we're going to have to go. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get, we have less blubber extracted by the whales. Uh, we'll lose that bonus, but we really do need that. Um, the other thing we could wait till April. You know what? Maybe we should wait till April and uh, wait until we can get that caboose upgrade. Okay, so we'll wait till April. That's when our upgrade is due. This one ends April 24th. Now, in the meantime, I actually got a quest. Um, we heard, and this was while I was in the whaling area, that the Rachel is was the ship that rescued us from the Pequod when it was damaged. Apparently, the Rachel has gone missing. And this has replaced our main quest right up here. So we're finding the Rachel is the new thing. Uh, so we're going to have to discover where she is. We also got a brand new whaling area up here, which uh, is pretty exciting. However, I think I would really like to finish hunting or keep hunting in this area until the season ends. So we're going to do that, earn a little bit more money, and, uh, and hopefully get a little bit of stuff, uh, money made here. Okay, so let's say okay. And uh, we've been doing pretty darn well. So let's use last used, change Sylvester over to this. All right, so this is another thing. Narwhal adults have the power of love. Damage plus 50% when fighting in a mating area, which this is, as I recall. So this is pretty darn dangerous, but now you get to see the fasten skill. This is fantastic. Um, eight damage to target character adds fastened and bleeding status. Me I think the fastened means they cannot submerge themselves. So um, you can see the rope going from the whaling boat to the animal here and um, they won't be able to get away. So, and I think this does the bleeding of two per turn. There we go, there's the bleeding. But if I can, I'm also gonna try to kill the babies uh, because we need to get those killed as well. So, oh, wow, 10, it's actually a really good, can I kill this, no? Okay, I guess I can just strike this one. Okay, immersion resisted because we have it fastened. Okay, great. So this this fasten skill is really good. Really, really good. 
Okay, so that one has died. Um, all right, so we'll go with regular strike from on Ishmael because I really want to get those reputation points as many as possible. Um, uh, and we seem to be getting one after every like major fight. So if I if I kill some with my particular character. All right, so we did get one reputation point. Lots of XP for this. All right, let's get the blubber on board and the food. So much food. I've actually taken to selling food um, as a regular thing. Okay, while doing doling out the daily grog ration, one of your men, particularly happy about your command and the living conditions on the ship, raises his chalice to make a toast in your honor. To me, um, Captain Ishmael plus one prestige or... We can have all crew plus five morale. Let's check the morale here. Morale 59, 86, and 36. I think we can probably raise a glass to me. <laughs> okay. I'm ecstatic to have such a loyal crew. All right. Let's keep on hunting. Get a little bit more, um, more money on the ship here. Last use. Let's go. Got a newborn and a young one. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Fasten, perfect. Okay, this one should die because it will have the bleeding effect. Okay, tusk strike, but we resisted the bleeding because of Sylvester. Yay. There we go, and it's dead. I really love that fasten skill. That is so good. Um, the next level up on that track of... Um, skill points is a bleed with all all attacks cause a bleed which is kind of nice too so kind of not sure which way i should go whether i should do that or grab one of sylvester's skills you know the um the no bleeding on my own uh, on the whaling boat so okay we have 48 of 70 let's just stay here as long as possible because very soon this uh, this whaling area is going to be done with. Okay, so let's get last used. Go. All right, newborn, young, young. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and Bill leveled up to where he does 10 damage now, which is a really handy thing because he can kill one of these in one blow instead of it taking two blows which is very convenient for us other than hitting them you know like four turns it'll be like two turns instead uh, if he hits them all there so oh and ishmael also which is nice boom there we go because i put another point of skill into uh my um what is it hunting skill the red skill Okay, well, now that's interesting. Why is this eight? Oh, crew member damage minus 20%. Okay, that's why. Okay, so this one is still gonna take two turns to kill, at least, if we don't miss. <laughs> so, but yeah, the, the, the random cards do definitely affect combat. But ever since I got the doctor, there's they really haven't posed a threat to us. At least the narwhals, maybe other whales will. Not quite sure, but um, yeah, we can't do anything there. That's that's unfortunate. The immersion thing. I don't. That's annoying. <laughs> it's just annoying. It's like I finally get a roll. I finally win one and can't do anything. Ah, now we have plus twenty percent damage. Oh, I should have done my own. Ah, darn it. Just for the victory point. I still got the victory point, uh, which is great. Which is great. So, all right, let's get the uh, stuff on board. We can probably. Well, we're sixty-three. I don't have enough stuff. Don't have enough things. Gonna have to basically let's save the game so we don't <laughs> have any more uh, repetitions of the can't get the save file. Let's go back to town. Right, three hundred ninety-five dollars. Really nice amounts of money there. Jobs, okay. Right, we have to be level 5 to get that one. Um, we have so much prestige, which is good. Really good. Morris, Percy. Not a lot of change in these people over time, which is very unfortunate. Who do we have that we could get 
caboose ship upgrade. I think we should be okay with that. And we're going to sell, look, 509 days of food. This is really just part of selling here. 260 extra dollars uh, just for that, which is a very nice. Look at this, $3,094. I'm very happy with the situation here. Uh, with the money, uh, we're trying to, to get it going. All kinds of interesting quests here. George Bass quest related. We haven't gotten any side quests yet. Um, I hope we'll get to those eventually. But right now I got to focus on making more money so that I can you know convert my blubber into the oil. Because I feel like that's definitely a better uh, return on investment for stuff. Okay, so let's go last used. There we go. And start killing stuff. Lots of whales. I'm basically just going until the season ends. Let's get Sylvester some points here. Okay, that's just fine. Oh, motion. Okay, that's fine. Deep water mirage. Whoa. But I have to say that having an extra character with more um, roles that are valid um, is, is super, super helpful. Really super helpful. Okay, strike with 10. I don't want to mess with having a second hit. So there we go. Boom. Six blubber, three food. Okay. Keep on going. Okay, the storm's massive swells cause your ship to roll so fiercely that your lookout falls out of the crow's nest and lands on the deck with a sickening crunch. One of his legs looks badly damaged with the bo broken bones sticking out through the skin. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we need to set his fracture suits. We don't have enough. Bring him to sick bay. Oh man. Alright, we could let him rest, or he dies. Oh, this has a higher chance of succeeding. And, yeah, we don't have a sick bay. Oh, this is so bad. Alright, I'm gonna choose this because it has the highest chance of succeeding. Oh god, he died anyway. No! Okay, a few people report that there are rats in the hold. They could bring problems if you do not deal with them. Okay, we could get Typhus. Ugh. Rats die. Captain Ishmael Typhus state. <laughs> okay. Ugh, they're all awful. Alright, let's get this one. They did not stand a chance. Okay, so we killed the rats. Oh boy. Um, let's go back to... <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Alright, and save the game. Oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, let's go back. Um, sail away. Oh man, this has just been really awful. So bad. But, you know, stuff happens. It really does, so... All right, let's see who we have here. Jim, there's Luke. Oh boy, we don't have anyone with, we've just got emergency medical kit. Oh, that's bad. I think I'm gonna have to go to another harbor and try to get another character. I think that's really the only thing that we can do right now with this. Um, Let's try that. Let's just do that. Let's make sure that we have enough stuff. Okay, that's fine. Sail away. And we'll try to get some more crew members. We'll probably come back to Nantucket just to get that, to get finished on that one, um, the upgrade. Okay, let's go to Horta. And this, we have to go all the way to Honolulu. OK, 
Okay, water barrel is leaking out. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we'll be fine. Let's see. Okay, save again. I'm just doing this saving because I've had issues and I'm recording all of this like on one day um, because I'm really having such a great time playing this. Um, so I haven't even told the dev about, you know, this, this issue that I was having with stuff not uh, working properly. But anyway, okay, so let's look here and see what we got in terms of people that we could possibly hire. Okay, wrong skills. That's not good. We got here bleeding and blind. Right, lay is 11%. Wow, that's high. Um, let's check here for these skills. We've got unity to bleeding. This is what? Sick bay. We really would like a sick bay, but nope. Guinea pig immunity to illness. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna hire Antonio. Okay. I don't even care what his. Oh, actually, he has other skills. Let's see. Lay goes to the captain if the character dies. Hundred percent morale effect of food. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, wow, he has eleven percent lay as well. Okay, that's a lot. I didn't really realize it would be that expensive. Uh, Eli, we need to have a person with the the thing that we don't see. Nope, nobody here has it. That's unfortunate. How about... Right, he wants 11% lay as well, but he's very high. Um, along blind side dice during combat damage and stunned. I think we can afford to have Duarte here, but this is 8% lay and they have maybe better traits. Let's see. Wow. They, uh, they have the, what is this? Generous, right? And swimmer trait. Okay. So Bill, you have been our friend for a while. Sorry. You are really great at, uh, cheering us all up. But we're gonna have to let you go because you don't have the right skills. So sorry. Bye. All right. Uh, right. We're gonna take Luis. Right. Right. Yeah, Luis. Hire you. Fantastic. So we're still looking for a person with the right skills, which is okay. Um, that's okay. We're gonna be fine. And we'll say okay to this right now. What do we got here? Ooh, naphthalene. Interesting. Okay. Discovering a new whaling area. We still need to get that done. Let's uh, look at here. What do we got here? 80 days worth of water. Let's buy some more water. Say okay. And we will sail off. Oh, they also have other ships here. We do need this pot, this cooking pot thing. Um, that's something we definitely need. And then for Brigantine, we'll need... Uh, let's see, do they have... I think they should have some stuff. This one has... They, we need a sick bay for that. Thinking a sick bay would be actually really good. This one has a cannon on the front. This one also has a cannon. I'm not sure what the difference is here. Try works. Try works. This one has a sick bay and um, higher level crow's nest, but this one has shelving. This is going to be like a bigger. Oh, we probably should look here on the side too. This has got cargo 150. This is 123. Okay, two whale boats. Okay, this is a faster ship. Um, 60 HP for both of them. So looks like we might want a brig. Okay, so that's kind of maybe what we're looking for to buy. All right, so by the end of April, we are going to have... Uh, we need to get the next upgrade for the ship. Kind of reticent to go very far in the world um, just because go down here. Just go this way. Yeah, 21 days left. Let's just look. See what's there. 
Yeah, right. We have these people there. Great. Okay. After days of good wind and with the crew quite happy under your command, some of your men start saying that you bring good luck to the voyage and they feel you're going to become rich. I hope so. Plus one prestige. Good. I need them to be motivated. Fantastic. Good deal. Okay, one of your men, who is particularly content under your command and well known for being a generous person, comes to you to share part of his gambling spoils because he believes you bring him good luck. I appreciate it. Keep following me and you feel luck's warm smile more frequently. Do you think I'm a beggar? Greedy. Share the spoils with your mates. Craftsman Eli. Hmm. I think... Um, I think share the spoils with your mates. That's nice. Okay, sail away. And we'll go up toward Nantucket. Go. Alright, and we're done with our upgrade, which is great. Let's save the game. Good. Okay, enter the harbor. Okay. All right, new newspaper, new Triworks has been installed. Now, we really want to get, let's find out if we can find a person with the pot. Yes, caboose ship upgrade. So we might choose Steve. There's caboose, okay. Per day of navigation, minus 10% food. I think we're just gonna take Steve you are actually 8%, you're 6%. Uh, I think that's fine. Let's just hot fire Eli. Uh, you've been with us a long time, Eli. I really have appreciated your good skills, but it's time to let you go. Okay, sorry. Fire, Steve. Right, we want Steve? Yeah, okay. Um, did he, did he hire. And now we can go here and unlock the caboose upgrade. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Plus two of crew morale. Okay, I guess we'll get this. Let's do it then. Um, good. And anything else we can do? I think we're pretty happy with everybody else. Uh, it might be time to go and look for new whaling areas and all that other stuff. Make sure we have enough supplies. Okay. We'll be just fine. Okay, great. Sail away. Keep thinking, every time I see sail away, I keep thinking of that Enya song. <laughs> sail away, sail away. <laughs> oh, man. Man. I'm trying to think of the name of the, the album. It was one of my favorite albums that she had. Anyway, it was very cool. So we have a whaling area up here. I think that would be good. None of these whaling areas are active, I think, right now. So let me go that way. Let's just plot a course here to this area. Okay, 40 days. Let's go. Okay, we have a sister that's going to marry. Yeah, let's go. We'll go. See the sister. Another marrying sister. Larger water rations. No thank you. That's not going to happen here. I've got stuff to, to do. Can't let that happen. Okay, so we have stuff. Oh gosh, okay. One of your crew members tells you that the man in charge of the ship's maintenance has messed up by crushing some boards in the hold. Now he's trying to fix his mess and hope he will not discover it since a lot of people are already calling him dumbass. Oh my god. Okay, so we either have... Alright, he's the right man to fix it. Nobody has technical support. Okay. 100% minus 10 hull points. Craftsman steep. Lower morale. Uh, just stop hammering. I guess that's probably the best thing? Well, that reduces morale. Craftsman Steve has the lowest morale. Let's, um, wow, plus six hull recovered per day. 
let's get we can afford 10 hull points even if we lose it okay we're still afloat so i guess he managed to fix it that's fine okay uh some water barrels have sat untouched for weeks check the barrels yeah we lost two okay, that's fine Okay, let's where where is Steve's thing? Um, okay, during the past few days, you've noticed that a man attending to the ship's maintenance does a poor, ineffective job. He keeps patching the ship's hull in such a way that he must return and repair the same areas again and again. Uh, we could scold him. This is same Steve. Oh my God. Uh, opportunity. My crafting is not high enough. There's nothing I can do for him. This one. We could have the dull trait removed. Okay, nope. See, so go to this quest here. Okay, so that one is there. That's just fine. That's unfortunate, Steve. You're really not making us happy here. Captain just leveled up. Go to. Fantastic. Okay, so let's find out what we can get. We have one point. Now, if we want to get. What can we do? gonna sign that fasten skill or wait can I you can only have one of these at a time oh no oh dear I don't really want one at a time <laughs> it's not funny it's like no all right I want to try to get this bandages skill um, so eventually I can have all harpooners on the, uh, the boats. Let's get this skill here. Now if I choose this skill, does that... Wow, that unlocks those skills. Wow, so you can't have more than one of these skills. That's not... That doesn't make me happy. <laughs> what is the point of having more skills if you can only use one of them, though? Unless it's like one per tier, like one on tier one and then one on tier two or something like that. Unless you have to use all from the same line. Oh dear. All right, let's add a point hunting. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. There she blows. Lower the whale bloats and lead the hunt. I'm ready. Okay. Kill all the enemies. Let's go used oh right okay I want to let's withdraw I want to put Luis first then me then Antonio oh cool look at this he's got blind nice minus 16 holy fuzzy cats wow that's really good oh we've got humpback whales nice 30 Dang, I wonder how much the damage they'll do to me. Okay, strike. Um, right. Humpback whale. Bleeding. Okay, so they... Luis does... Oh my god, what? I'm overboard? Oh, how do I fix that? Uh... How do I fix this? I don't even know how to fix this. Science dice will give me what? First aid? Emergency kit? Sailing dice? I don't know what to do. Strike this one. Can't strike that one. Let's get these newborn whales. Okay. Penduncle throw. These may be too dangerous for me. These are really dangerous whales. It's like, no. Okay, I'm back on board. Okay, let's roll. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna roll him to have... Okay, let's strike this one. He has 10. Oh, but he was bleeding. Shoot, I should've... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Roll. Okay, first aid to myself. Plus 12 HP. That was really good. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. We can we can kill more stuff. Alright, fasten. That's fine. Dead. Wow. 
Whew. 30 blubber. Holy fuzzy cats. All in one go. Dang, what a haul. That is <laughs> just amazing. Oh my god, in one haul. That was really good. Okay, so what we need to do probably is say close. And we're going to get... Uh, we're going to start getting people back. Okay. Let's just go to this area. Okay. Lower the whale boats and check the area. I guess we can. We're pretty much strong enough. Oh, I don't really want to do this fight because we already have enough stuff on board. Um, yeah, let's use last used. Can we just come back aboard the, the ship? Because I really don't think we need to have this fight. Let's retreat, yeah. Okay. Bubble net spiral. Oh, shoot. Did we survive? We did. We did survive. Okay, we're here. Um, yeah. Okay, great. So we found this whaling area. Goes from June to September. This one is uh, June to September. Okay, so those are in the same time period. Let's go to Peterhead is a 16. This is $15 per $24. I think we're going to go to Horta to sell this stuff. Go. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go to the sell stuff there because I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to waste my money on stuff. Okay, we got this going. Okay, overabundance of food. Back to portions. We're going to sell that food. We want a bigger ship, don't you realize? Come on, guys. Okay, save the game. Okay, there we go. Go to Horta. Enter the harbor. Okay, we should be able to sell this for a pretty decent price. There we go. And a new newspaper is available. Great. All right, check out jobs. All right, we still have that whaling area available to us. Let's buy water. Definitely need a lot of water. And sell, wow, $24 for food. We can definitely sell a lot of this food and be that much richer. Okay, great. Yeah, this, this amount of uh, stuff in the hold is really kind of holding us back. Um, but it's gonna be okay. We're gonna we're gonna be all right eventually. Uh, do we want to look for any new people here? I don't really think so. I think we should be just fine. All right. So we did get that particular quest done. I don't remember where uh, that happened. We could let's let's check the. Um, the, the time scale for that particular area. Is that available to us? Yeah, June 21st. This is actually just opened up, so we can go this way and then up toward that area and just hunt whales there so we get some more money, and it's such a fast thing if we win. <laughs> it's just like 30, 30 blubber. That's so good. I feel frustrated a little bit because of the, you know, the serious amount of, um, wait, why can't we hunt whales? Hunt whales, there we go. But, uh, because of the, the, the very, very limited inventory space that we have, um, that is a little bit annoying. Okay, here we go. Right, the last used. Okay, good. All right, we have two no newborns and an adult. Wow, damage plus 50% in a feeding area. So this could be really dangerous. But, okay, let's go fasten the adult here. Okay, good. Well, that's interesting. Cannot target sea creature cards. Why not? 
and Dunkle throw. Wow. Uh, wow. My my character is almost dead. That's not good. We need to. I need to heal immediately. Please, please heal. No. Oh my god. Um. All right. Let's just kill this one. Hopefully, we don't die. Please don't die. No. No. Oh god. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, I've died. Captain is down. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that was not good. Um, all right, I think we're gonna reload the game. Uh, let's see. Seven one. I think that's sooner than when we went to over there. So I think this might be a really good time to end the episode. Looks like these humpback whales are extremely dangerous. I think I want to go through the scientist doctor um, skills and see if there's anything that will help us with that and check that out for the next episode. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.